Hello, my name is Luis Diaz, and I've been saved for 18 years. I was uh, born again on June 27th, 2003. I serve the Lord as lead pastor of Hope Christian Fellowship East Side. Um, part of my responsibilities there is teaching, uh, preaching the Word of God, as well as ministering to uh, the, the sheep of God. Um, there are many people who need counsel at times, and that's my, I make myself available to try to help them and as best I can to give them biblical counseling. Um, to lead them in truth. Before I was saved, um, I'll preface this. I, I grew up in the church, so I had some Christian background. Uh, however, that Christian background didn't save me. Um, it wasn't until probably the summer of 2001, maybe 2000, yeah, 2001, where I started to question life. Um, and in those questions, uh, I really couldn't find answers. I wasn't with my friends. Um, it wasn't in the money I was making. Um, I just was struggling with the purpose of life. Uh, and by God's grace, I think, I'm thankful that he drew me in and uh, revealed himself to me through the scriptures. Uh, before becoming a believer, I don't recall having any encounters with anyone who shared the gospel with me. Now, I would have conversations with my brother on occasion, and whenever he did that, I kind of strayed away and went, you know, I ran, I ran the other way. They didn't want really, really want to talk about Jesus Christ with him. And he wasn't a believer, it was just a conversation. Um, but I do remember this, that uh, a few weeks before I was saved, I went to a Christian wedding, um, and it was everybody there was Christian, and I was an obvious uh, oddball <laughs> in that place. Um, at the ceremony and at the reception, no one shared Jesus Christ with me. And when I left the reception, I remember saying to myself in the parking lot, there is no God, because if there was one, one of these people would have said something to me. I was desperate to have a conversation with somebody. I just wasn't bold enough to, to ask. Um, the fact that 2% of Christians actually share their faith uh, kind of makes me think and wonder how many have had a real encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. But there are probably many factors why Christians don't share and probably many excuses, probably none of them valid. Um, but it's heartbreaking because uh, I was one of those that were, at, before I became a believer, that I wanted someone to share with me and they didn't. But God is faithful. Thankfully, he did reveal himself to me. Um, I know a lot of, for a lot of people that's not necessarily true where they can see God speaking to them. So um, I encourage you, if you're listening to this uh, and you are a believer, be bold. Don't be afraid. Be led of the Spirit. Um, let God guide you in your conversation and uh, learn. Learn what it means to share your faith. You know, what stops people from sharing the gospel? Um, let me say this. Uh, I wonder how many people are actually walking in relationship with God. Um, I think there's a lot of people who claim Christianity like I did when I was younger, but really didn't know God. I think when you have an encounter with the Lord, you are looking to do so. Um, even where it may be hard and even when uh, you may not know what to say, um, there's a reality that fear sometimes just keeps believers from sharing the truth. Uh, yet the Word of God tells us that He has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. And if you can use love as a motivator to look at people uh, as potential children of God, um, hopefully it can help you to share your faith. Um, but I encourage you, if you need help in this area, don't be afraid to ask somebody who might be able to teach you or show you.